Hello and welcome to today's lesson, Social Studies, lesson number three. So first of all guys, can we all turn and wave and say hello to our friends on camera? Hello. Okay, that's great. So first thing we will do today is our meditation sequence. And for this, we must sit down, take our two fingers, heart center, left hand on our lap, close our eyes. That's very good. Try to take your two fingers to your heart center and find your pulse. You'll feel your beating chest. And then concentrate on taking breaths in and breaths out. Just take deep breaths in. Try to breathe at the same rate too. Not too fast and not too slow. This will help you to relax and focus your mind for study. Last few breaths now. And then open your eyes and slowly come back to the room. Okay. Very good. And next we'll do our stretching. So let's stand up and push our chairs inside our desks. And first of all, we'll reach up. Let's go up. Let's reach high, high as we can to the sky. And then can we go on our tippy toes? Can we? Very good. And then let's go down low. Low down to our toes. Can we touch our toes? Try to touch our toes. And then back up. Back up to the sky. And let's go side to side slightly, gently. Give our spines a little stretch. And then back down to our toes. Excellent. And let's finish off with a little wiggle. Stop. Great stuff. Okay, guys, sit down, please. So, social studies, lesson number three. Does anybody remember what we learned during social studies lesson number two? Can we remember when we spoke about being part of a family. family is one. Family is a type of c com community. community. Great job. That's excellent. How do we spell community? C-O-M-M-U-N-I-T-Y 
excellent community. So, Prel has already given us one example of community. Family. Family. Very good. F. A. M. L. Y. Okay. Any other examples? School. School. Where we are now. At school. We are part of a learning community because we come to school to study. Okay, so we have family, community. Any other examples? School. 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 Excellent. S -S School is a community. Family is a community. How about, remember about countries? Where are we now? Thailand. Thailand. So Thailand is an example of a community, a large community, because it's a country. So Thailand, T, H, A, I, L, very good. Thailand. A. N. T. Thailand. But how about the city? We're in Thailand, but which city are we in? Chiang Rai. Chiang Rai. So Chiang Rai is also a part of a community. community. So let's go here. C. H I A N G Chiang and then Rai. Excellent guys. So there's four types of community. Family, community, school, community, Chiang Rai, community, and Thailand, community. Now remember the last lesson when we spoke about what makes a community? There were certain types of things. The way we dress, the things we do, is what gives a community identity. Remember? Identity. I D E N T I T Y identity. identity and we talked about two words remember tradition. tradition tradition is like the clothes that we wear you know on special occasions or events that is part of a community's tradition T R A D I T I O N Tradition Yes, and in Thailand when we greet somebody, what do we do? Why? This is part of Thai K -k -k Culture Excellent, remember culture Like in England or Western countries, what do we do when we meet somebody? Shake hands. That's part of Western culture. Thai culture. Why? Okay. So we talk about C U L T U R E. Tradition and culture gives us identity or gives our community identity. Great job guys. Can we have a round of applause? You remember the lesson very well. So now what we'll do, we'll move on to the next stage. We're going to have a look at family community. So can we have a look at the PowerPoint? All turn your chair slightly so we can see the screen. And what we'll do, we'll move through the slides together. Community. 
family, traditions and culture. Very good. Okay. So the first one. Anyone tell me what country this is? Can we see? Germany. Germany. Can we say Germany? Germany. Okay, that's the German national flag. And here you can see a picture of a German city. That's a city in Germany. And here are some German people. Can you see the clothes they wear? Do we dress like this in Thailand? No, no. it's not Thai culture. It's German culture. You s yes. You know them people are not from Thailand. They are from Germany. And one of the things that they celebrate very much in Germany is the first day at school. You see children when they're very young, their very first day at school, they get gifts, they get flowers. It's a really big, important occasion in Germany. It's part of their, ready, tradition, tradition. and culture in Germany. in Germany yes does anybody know this flag yeah, I thought you might guess this one because you know your own country this is the Thai flag and you have a picture of temple and are these people from Thailand yeah. how do you know the dress so you see Thai tradition and culture you can tell by their clothes and the way they look oh this is Thailand and what do we do in Thailand what is part of our family tradition in Thailand we pay respect for the elders respect for do you know what that means? It means like older people. People older than you, you will respect. You will make sure you are very respectful. You know, to your mother or your grandmother or your grandparents, respect for the elders is part of Thai tradition. Okay? Next one, who can guess this country? This one's hard, I don't think we've seen. This is a, are you ready? Trinidad. Trinidad. Trinidad, yes. This is a new country for you. We haven't looked at this one. And can you see? It's Trinidad is in a place called Caribbean. Yes, it's very sunny there and they have lots of islands. It's a bit like the south of Thailand. But can you see, are these people from Thailand? No. How do you know? Dress. The dress, the way they look, everything. You know, that's not Thai culture. This is Trinidad culture. Yes. And what do they do in Trinidad with their families? Can you guess? No. Look at the pictures. In Trinidad, they share culture through stories. stories. Yes, what this means is the grandmother will tell a story to the mother. The mother will tell a story to the children. And that way the stories are passed on by generation. So stories that are hundreds of years old, they will tell their children so that the stories are passed on. 
that's part of Trinidad culture. Do we know? This one's a bit closer to Thailand. India. India, very good. India. This is India, which isn't very far. And you see that beautiful building there? Does anybody know what that building is called? That building is called the Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal, can you say? Taj Mahal. You know, one guy, he built that for his wife after she died. His wife died, so he built the building for her. And all these people, where are these people from? India. India, very good. And what is part of India tradition and culture? In India, we care for all kinds of animals. Can you say? Caring, Caring for, all for all kinds of animals. Animals, yes. All animals are sacred in India, especially the cow. I think the cow is a very sacred animal, but all animals are cared for very much. What animal can you see in this pictures? Elephant. Elephant. And here we have Dog. dogs. And what about here? Dog. Is that another dog? Okay, and now for the final country. Are you ready? Ready. Are you ready? Ready. Are you ready? Ready. What country is this? It's called Dutch. There's actually, this country has a few names. Ready? Holland. Holland. Or Netherlands. Netherlands. And Dutch. And Dutch. Yes. There's lots of names for this country. This country is in Europe, near to England, near to where Teacher Wes is from. Can you see the picture? How beautiful does that picture look with the flowers? You see all the different colours? Yeah. Yeah. You know the Netherlands, or Dutch, is very flat. There are no mountains, no hills. It's just very flat. So lots of people, they can plant flowers. And do you know what these buildings here are called? You see? Can you say windmill? Windmill. 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 Yes, when the wind blows, they turn and helps to make products like wheat. Windmill. windmill. And you can see Dutch people here. Are they from Thailand? No, no. No, they look totally different. Dutch people are very tall. They're amongst the tallest in the world. So what is it that we think Dutch people do? Can you guess from the pictures, what do we have? We have a pen, paper, somebody giving something. What do we think Dutch people like to do? Right, very good. Do you know something called poems? Like a short story. Dutch people like to share poems together. They will write a short poem and pass it to each other. Like today, Teacher Wes might write a little story and give it to one of you guys. And that would be like my personal poetry. Dutch people do that all the time. Okay? So can you say, share personal poetry? Share personal poetry. That's great, guys. Now, on to the next stage of the lesson. 
teacher Wes is going to share something that we do. Which country is teacher Wes from? England. England. So now I'm going to show you a picture of something we do in England. See if you can guess. Are you ready? Ready. Are you ready? Ready. Are you ready? Ready. Are you ready? Ready. Okay, can anybody tell me what's happening in this picture? Christmas, yes. When does Christmas happen? Does anybody know when Christmas is? Christmas is in December. December. On the 25th of December is Christmas Day. But what we do in England and other countries is around 12 days before Christmas, we will put up our Christmas tree. Yes, you see the tree? And we dress it like Christmas. And everybody in the family will do it together. It's a family tradition. And it's part of our culture. It gives us identity. Yes, we do this all the time. Once a year in England, about 12 days before Christmas, and then we leave it for 12 days after Christmas, and then we take it down. Have you guys ever done this? Maybe we can do this year here, because Teacher Wes is in Thailand now, and I can do it with you guys. Okay? So now, on to the next stage of the lesson. Teacher Wes has shared something his family likes to do. Now, teachers, you will have had to have printed out this worksheet beforehand. This is the worksheet for this lesson. What our students will do is they can write their names on top. And then in the top box, which says, My Family Traditions. Can we say? my family traditions in the top box write a little sentence just something that you do with your family it can be anything something you like to do with your family and then what shall we do in the bottom picture if we write our sentence in the top picture what shall we do in the bottom excellent that gal you can draw the picture of the activity here and write the sentence to say what it is. So teacher Wes would write, I do my Christmas tree with my family. And then in this box, I would have to draw the picture, but not as big as this. Okay, you guys understand? So time to think. What do you like to do with your family? It can be anything. Two, what do you like to do with your family? Maybe you like to go shopping, or maybe you like to go to the cinema. Maybe you go with your family, and then you can tell me about it. Okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, so teachers, give your students between 15 to 20 minutes, quite a long time for this activity because they like to colour, but help them, just monitor the class and help them with any ideas, any words or vocabulary that they need help with. And see you back in class in around 20 minutes, okay? See you soon. Sorry? Okay, but does anybody like to go to temple with their family? You could say, go to temple with your family. I go to the river. No, temple. Temple. 
Where do you go? I, I go, go to Denver. Denver. What is that? Dream world. Dream world. Is it like to play? Amusement? Yes, I know. Suansono, am I? Amusement park. Okay, any words you need help with? Teacher, where is well, right? Okay, so let's see. Temple. T. E. M. P L E Temple Lakao Dream World. Okay, where is Dream World? Is Dream World in Bangkok or Chiang Rai? <coughs> Bangkok, yes. Dream. Okay, you want me to spell Dream World here for you? Okay, so Dream. Can you say? Dream world. Or temple. Two. What do you like to do with your family? Shopping. Shopping. Okay. Tale. Tale. Seaside. Seaside. Okay. I'll put here for you. Ready? So you can write the sentence, students, you can write, I like to go to, and then, with my family you can write this sentence see in red see teacher Wes as underlined in red ready I it's okay if you write I go to or I like to go I go to dream world is fine or you can say, I, I like to go to Dream World, Temple, Seaside, with my family. Amusement park. You like to go amusement park? Amusement park. I will write for you. Because Dream World is amusement park too. Amusement park. Can you say amusement park? Park. 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 Very good. Two. Where do you like to go? Football? Maybe. So football, shopping, seaside, temple, eat food. Football. Football. Because when teacher Wells was young, very little, I went to football with my dad, my grandfather. We went every Saturday. So that was like our family tradition. Have you drawn your picture? <laughs> Excellent. And then we play a game. In the next part, teacher Wes will collect the worksheets and then we have to guess whose is who but I will hide the name
I like to go to a temple. Yes, that's fine. I can see it. You like perfect. Pretty good. I like to go to a temple with my family. Excellent. And then you can draw a picture of a temple. Remember, do you want teacher to go back to Thailand and you can see the temple? I like to go to a temple with my family. Excellent. Temple. To like to go. Okay. I like to go to I like to go with my family. No, no, you need to write. I like to go to football with my family. Yes, write that sentence because you write seaside and football. But you can write both, but you need to write, I like to go to with my family, okay? So you can write on top here, you see? I Anybody needs any help with spelling or Very nice, Nadia. Hello. 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 Very good, too. I like to go to. And you can colour your drawing too, if you have time. About five more minutes. Getting on, guys. Wow, that's super. That's the roller coaster. Can you say? Roller coaster. Yes. Very nice. Is this a snake? No. <laughs> it's the roller coaster. That's okay. We have temple and we have amusement park. But we have to guess.
Okay. I like to go to football with my family. Excellent. And then you can draw a picture of football. You can draw a picture of you scored a goal. Okay. Pang Pong, okay. What do you like to do? Wow, roller coaster. Can you say roller coaster? Can you say roller coaster? <laughs> roller coaster. Try to say roller coaster. <laughs> like roller coaster. Roller coaster. Roller coaster. Roller coaster. Yes, that's what this is. Roller coaster. Very good, Preo. Okay, about two more minutes, guys, and then teacher Wes will collect, and then we have to, well, we'll stretch, and then we have to guess whose worksheet is who. Very good. Okay. Can I help? Teacher can help. Okay. Teacher can help. You can ask. Okay, guys. Two more minutes, and if you're not quite finished. Drawing, no problem. Finished. Roller coaster. Pang pong. Roller coaster. Very good. Temple. Seaside. Seaside. Okay, teacher Wes will collect. If you're not quite finished colouring, no problem, because you can finish later. Ready? Hello, and welcome back to the class. Teachers, once your students have finished, you can collect the worksheets. If they're not quite finished colouring, no worry, because they can finish later after the exercise. But before our next activity, we will now do a stretching sequence. So can we all stand up and push in our chairs? Okay, so hands on hips. Let's give ourselves a little shake. Stop. Stop. And shake. Stop. 
Let's shake a little stop. <laughs> Shake stop. a little. Stop, 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 stop. stop. Okay. Shake our hands. Stop. If teacher stops, you have to stop, okay? And up, and down, and up, and down, and up, and up, and up, and up. <laughs> Oi. Okay, so how about left leg? Stop, right leg. Stop, little wiggle. Stop, wiggle some more. Stop. Okay, guys, and then we'll do how many claps? Five. One, two, three, four, five. Sit down, please. So now, final part of the lesson. We've all got our students' worksheets. Now, we're going to try to guess whose worksheet it is. If you see your worksheet, let your friends try to guess. And then the person who did it to come to teach you and we will speak what it is the activity that they like to do are you ready, ready. okay by the way teacher well said put your names on top so if the students have done that just block out the students names with your hands yeah. who is this Pak -bum. Pak -bum. is this yours okay please come here That's fine. That's better. Can you tell the camera what you like to do? I like to go to temple with my, with my family. With my family. Excellent. High five. Okay, round of applause. <laughs> That's for you. Okay. Next one. Okay, this one has a name. So, actually, I'll jumble them up because the. Lakau. Okay. How do we know it's Lakau? What do you like to do, Lakau? I go to with my family. Excellent. I go to Dream World with my family. Where is Dream World? Bangkok, yes. Okay. Can I have a high five? Can we have a round of applause for Lakau? Back out. Sorry. Thank you. You're welcome. Next one. Let's see who's next. Pat. No. Net. Who? Net. Net. Is this yours? Come on, Net. <laughs> Excellent drawing of a temple. So you ready? We'll speak together. I like to go to temple with my family. Family. High five. Excellent. Round of applause. Bang bon. You ready? Remember the word roller coaster. <laughs> I, I like to go, go to amusement park, amusement park with, with my, my family. And you can see the picture of the roller coaster. Bang bon, high five. Round of applause. Let's see, okay, next one. Ready? 
No. Down. Okay. And what does down like to do? I go to amusement park. Amusement park with my family. Excellent. And remember, roller coaster. Roller coaster. Very good. High five. Round of applause for down. Is this your one, Nadia? Okay, you can come. This is a wonderful, beautiful golden temple. This is like the golden temple. Are you ready? I like to go to temple. With my family. Excellent, very well spoken. Okay, up. don't forget, you can take this. <laughs> And now we've got three left. We have three. Two. Two. Okay. Now this one's different, okay? I, I like, like to, to go, go to, to football. football with my, with my family. Excellent, and you can see the drawing of the football game. That's very good. High five. Okay, round of applause for Chu. And this is a wonderful pink temple. Can you tell the video what you like to do? I like to go to temple with my family. Excellent. High five. And round of applause for prayer. The last one. How do we, how do we know it's Pat? Because he's the only one. Okay. Pat, you can join us. And this is a different activity, which is good. Ready? I, I like to go to, go to seaside, seaside with, with my, my family. family. And a great drawing there of the seaside. High five. Excellent. Round of applause. Okay. So you can see from our class here, everybody has fun doing their worksheets to describe their family activities. So now, just to recap today's lesson, what is a family a type of? Community. Community. And we have? Children. Family. Community. School. Community. Thailand community and what makes a community well we talk about culture tradition gives a community its identity okay so we hope you've had fun with us today for this lesson and we'll see you again for the next one bye for now can we wave the camera guys say bye 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 bye, bye, -bye. Okay.